Unified's Latino Student Success Conference also honored Cesar Chavez today, as well as the memory of a school resource officer. More than 200 students were challenged to dare to believe in themselves. Action News anchor Vanessa Vasconcelos brings us a look at the exercises that inspired students to spark change in their own community. It's said that children are the future. Clovis Unified's Latino Student Success Conference taught 250 middle school students that future is now. We as of adults have to change our mindsets to open spaces and create opportunities for them. Keynote speaker and CSU Board of Trustee member Dr. Yamilet Rodriguez used the lessons taught by Cesar Chavez to show the impact they can have on the world. We want to know what is what is important to you and let's hear you and let's do something about it. They already have that power. It just needs to be unleashed. From mental health access to gender equality, students broke off into teams to address changes they want to see in their communities. We need to make sure that we're listening to them because what happens in our communities impacts them directly. We all have differences and there's a lot of issues in the world, but there's ways that we can overcome those issues if we bond together. In addition to breakout sessions on youth advocacy and empowerment, students learn to celebrate their cultural identity. You can go ahead and embrace yourself. It's a safe environment, you know, you be you. There is a level of expectation, like we want the best for them, but also they have to do the work and put in the work. The conference was started four years ago by student resource officer Jesse Saron. He spent 15 years working for the district after serving with Parlier and Fresno Police. In 2020, his commitment to fostering relationships with youth and law enforcement earned him one of the top honors of Clovis Unified. He, he formed the Latino Student Success uh, Club here at Kasner. He had over 100 students participate. It was the largest uh, club that we had on campus. Officer Saron died a year later after a battle with COVID, but his legacy of celebrating cultural identity, community and academic achievement continues. He showed up and, and I know if he was here, uh, he would be amazed of, of that we continue the tradition, but he also will be saying we got to do more. In Clovis, Vanessa Vasconcelos, ABC 30 Action News.